Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here in YouTube, you know me as what? Epic Fantasy, that's right. And this is my latest tutorial. This is, I get this request for this a lot. How to make a Batman mask. That's right, we made two of them. <laughs> wonderful, Batman or Batgirl. A wonderful, wonderful project. Looks really good. I don't know if you can see that. Really comes out nice, and you don't need a whole lot of supplies to do this. Two sheets of 9x12 craft foam. Two of these. And a craft foam is wonderful because when you hit it with a hairdryer, you can shape it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not, hit that button. I do two new videos every week. Always lots of fun and interesting stuff in all kinds of creative subjects. Hey, and check us out on Facebook for sneak peeks and stuff. StormerCastle.com on Facebook. Uh, thank you. Let's launch into the intro and then let's do how to make a Batman mask. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model box, and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormerCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, to make the Batman mask, this is what we need. These are the basic supplies. Two pieces of 9 by 12 craft foam, or one 12 by 18 piece, a hair dryer, some little tidbits of foam, and we can even use newspaper for that. A mannequin head like this, $3 in the dollar store, and you don't even have to worry about it. You can make one out of newspaper and masking tape if you don't have a mannequin head. So those are the major things that we need. So let's do it. And let me show you real quick about making the, the uh, fake head if you don't have a mannequin head. You can just wrap up newspaper like this into the shape of you and size of your head and make it maybe about an inch larger all the way around so you have room for the mask to fit. But crumble up newspapers like this to make a head shape and make it nice and tight so you can really work on it. But it looks good. That's how you do it. So let's do it. We are going to make five pieces of foam and glue them to our mannequin head. Like this, see those pink pieces? Those are what we're gonna make right now. And I give you that in a template. See the cheekbones, right? The nose and the brows. Cut those out of the template. Cut yourself some foam like this that's about a half inch thick. Put the pieces on the foam and trace them. And then cut them out, all five pieces. Look good. Make them up all about the same thickness. That way the mask looks nice and uniform. And a little bit of sandpaper or paper to smooth them out a little bit. You don't want them to be too um, square and mechanical. So now let's glue them onto either your newspaper head that you made or your styrofoam mannequin. Start with the eyebrows. Put one eyebrow like this. And this is the whole secret to the mask. You know, you get these ridges in here, and then the other eyebrow, make sure it's the opposite. Reversed pattern, see it? Then you put the nose on. And you don't have to worry about the size of these. I give you these in the template. The link is in the description of this video down below. And then put the cheekbones on. Right about like that. And of course, mirror the other one on the other side so it's the opposite and glue it on. And you masking tape, if you're having trouble with the glue or hot glue, just a little bit of masking tape would be fine. Now, get our craft foam. Start with one 9 by 12 piece. All right, if you have a 12 by 18 piece, just cut it in half. And we're going to stretch it out on the face of the mannequin like this, so it's just a little bit lower than the nose. It goes down to about the philtrum on your face. Philtrum. There's a new word. What is that? Look that up. Google that. Philtrum. <laughs> P-H-I-L-T-R-U-M. And then tape it on. Okay, you get it a little bit taut. And then tape it in place. And now tape, you know, can get rip craft foam. So take your time with this. Go easy. Don't tape it too much. But if you do get some rips in your craft room, that's okay. We can fix it with electrical tape. Black electrical tape. See, but there you go. So now the magic happens. Either a heat gun or a hair dryer and start heating it up. And you're going to notice it change. It gets nice and soft and it gets kind of shiny. 
when it's getting to temperature. So you heat it up, and you're going to do this multiple times. For this face part, it takes about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. You just take your time. So you start to form the ridges along the temples, the cheek, right, the cheekbone ridges, the eyebrow ridges, the nose ridge, and start to, you're going to feel the foam mold under your hands. So you heat it some, mold it some, heat it some more, mold it some more, and it's going to, just like magic, it's going to start, the face is going to start to appear. So you can stretch it. And make it a little bit lower than you think you need it, because you can always trim it with a pair of, and we actually trim it. Uh, at the end, we trim it with an X-Acto knife, just to the right shape we want. But now, let's pay attention to those ears. Do this. From push your hand down the middle of it like that, and see how the ear is starting to form? The bat ear. Very nice. One on each side, left and right, just like that. As you heat it, it will soften, and the ears just kind of appear. Very, very nice. And you don't have to worry too much about the eyes because we're going to cut them out so you can see. I like it. Look at that. And that's something amazing. It's like magic. And if you get a tear in it, don't worry about it. We can fix it with electrical tape. So now let's close up those ears. The bat ears. Heat them. Close them. Work them a bit. Now they won't close 100% on their own, so what we will do is we will glue them. Any kind of glue you want. Hot glue is wonderful because it's quick and easy. Once you get them centered, centering is a big thing with this. Always be looking to make sure everything's um, symmetrical. But you put some glue in there and close them right up. I like it. There you go. So take that off and we're going to do the back half of the mask now. Because it's more than a mask, it's a whole like hood. It's like a cowl. So we need a back half too. If you just wanted to do this, you could put a strap on it and wear it. But let's do the back. Before you do it, let's heat up that foam to soften it. Stretch it a little bit like this. And now we're going to orient this the other way. That first piece for the front, we oriented lengthwise. Now we're going to do this one vertical. And what I mean is now the nine inches go across from side to side. Whereas with the front, the nine, inch, the nine inches were up and down. We had the 12 inch length side to side. So center this on the back of the mannequin head and tape it down. And then start heating it and you'll see how it softens and molds to the head. So we're making like a skull cap, a dome here. So do the same thing, work that craft foam, heat it, multiple heatings. We're going to about a little past, right, see where the cheekbones are like that? Just a little past that. So we have a little bit of extra room. We're going to actually tuck this, this piece into, underneath the front piece. So it looks best from the front. So now let's cut these so we can match them together. Put the front back on and mark it all the way around the hemisphere like that. See, that's our meeting line. That's as far as the front goes and we want the back, like I said, to tuck into it. So the back will be a little bit longer. So trim it. You know, maybe an inch or two past that, about two inches past that line. And you can tr make it longer and then trim as you need to. As you try to fit it, trim it a little bit more if it doesn't fit well. Oh, and here's another tip if you wanted to. You can secure this down to some kind of a stable base 
with duct tape, and then you can move it around like this and work on it. Kind of nice. You can rotate it, see? It's a nice tip for working on it. So now that we've got it trimmed down, do some final uh, molding of it to make sure you're past the lines that you drew. And tape it in place. So it holds. So here we go, now we're going to match those halves together. So put the front of the mask on, and now we're going to make a few slits if you need to in that back piece, and then tuck all that excess in, just like that. Important thing here is to walk around the front and look at it to make sure it looks good. It's going to look great, but see ya. Tuck it and glue it slowly, piece by piece, start at the top, flatten it out some, Glue the two halves together. And you can always hit it with the hairdryer a little bit more here. But seal the whole thing up all the way from top to bottom. And don't forget to remove your masking tape that you put there on the bottom, if you put any, before finalizing the glue. Just like that. And that's it. The mask, the shape of the mask is done, the overall mask. Now a little bit of detail work. You can always hit it uh, one more time, heat it up, shape it some more. Now that you've got the whole cowl of it. Hey, and remember, if you make this project, send me a picture, I will send you a certificate of contribution. Now, I'll mark out eye holes, and you can actually make some out of paper first, cut them out, and put them on the mask if you want to see, so you can get the eye holes just the way you want them, and then you can flip it over to do the other one, so they're very symmetrical. Uh, we used a piece of um, craft foam for that, but see, that way they're nice and even. They look good, just like that. Wonderful. Almost done. Trim all the way around the edge like this to get it to the final shape. See it? Going to take a little bit of it off, make it nice and smooth all the way around the skull. Nice, even cut. There we go. And that's it. Look at that. Your friends are going to love this project. Hey, and remember, I got a Batarang project too. Take it off. Let's... Uh, do some fin finishing touches on it. See the rips? That's okay. If you made a couple of rips like we did on our first mask, you can fix everything with some electrical tape. And do a line of electrical tape like this all the way around that edge for strength. That way when you're putting it on and off, it'll be nice and strong and it won't rip. Like this. Put it, put it halfway on and then fold it over. All the way around the um, circumference of that edge. There you go. Your Batman mask is done. Two pieces of craft foam and we made two of them. Special thanks to Danielle. She made these masks. Give her a thumbs up for a great job on this project. Let's take one last look at it, how it looks. Looks really good. See ya. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.